Listen, get back. You'll die with us. Don't risk your life. I, I won't let you die. I can't live without you. I love you. We are now. It's so cold. We it's okay. Hold on, listen to your blanket. I'll get you a blanket too. No, Ethan, please stay with me. You must have been so frightened. You know, we owe Teresa our lives. If she hadn't helped me pull you over the side, I don't even want to yeah, think well, what happened. Well, I happen. will thank Teresa for saving my life, but not for stabbing me in the back, trying to steal you away from me. Ethan, I want to know what was going on with Teresa, and I want to know right now. I'm gonna see what the captain's done to try to get Ethan, to no! I want to talk about Teresa now! I'm not gonna be put off any longer! Quinn, where is this jealousy coming from? You insisted I'd take Teresa to her prom! Ethan, I know, and I'm not questioning you! I'm questioning Teresa! But why, Gwen? I mean, what happened? Mother stopped by the mansion earlier, and naturally she wanted to see you. So when I told her where you were and who you were with, she asked me if I had ever seen anything that would suggest Teresa would ever make a play for you. And Ethan, the fact is, is that I have. So I decided to come down here and see how Teresa would act when she thought I wasn't around. And Ethan, when I ran into you two, I got the distinct impression that I was interrupting something. Something really big. Now what was it? What is it, Teresa? What did you want to tell me? It's what's been in my heart for so long. And I've been waiting for the right moment, and I hope... No. I'm sure. This is it. I love you. Ethan, what is going on between you and Teresa? Ethan, is Teresa after you? Is she in love with you? Ethan, come on, man. This one's getting worse and everybody's starting to freak out. We gotta do something, right? Right. Look, Gwen, our lives are in danger. What we're discussing will have to wait. Teresa, you okay? Thank you. We gotta get to the cabin and find out what's going on because the boat can't take much more of this. Right. Chief Bennett, look what's going on? Why hasn't your department sent out the police rescue boat? You know, what kind of slipshot operation are you running? There's nothing wrong with the Harmony PD. There is where I stand. Look, no one on shore even realized that we were in trouble. What, in this kind of storm? How could they not? I just spoke to the captain. He radioed for help when the storm first hit. But my department in the Coast Guard didn't even know what he was talking about. The weather in Harmony is fine. And this storm isn't showing up on radar. In fact, no one can even locate this boat on radar either. But how is that possible? This is disturbingly similar to the phenomena associated with... Forget that now, Reese. What we need to do is stay calm and keep everyone from panicking, all right? Good luck with that. Ethan, I have to talk to you. Look, Teresa, this isn't a good time. The boat's in serious trouble. I know. That's why if something happens, if we don't get through this, I need you to know that I meant what I said earlier. I love you, Ethan. I love you with all of my heart and soul. Teresa. Kiss me again, Ethan. Please. If this is the end, 
let my last memory be of you, holding me in your arms. A kiss from the man I love, still fresh in my life.